Hi and welcome. This video is designed to help medium and large charities fill in Section D of their 2017 Annual Information Statement. Your answers to questions in this section will appear on the public ACNC register unless the ACNC has approved a request from you that specific details be withheld from public view. So it's important that you get these questions right. And just to note, completion of this section is optional for basic religious charities and non-government schools. Now, Section D covers charity finances and asks charities to complete questions requesting various financial details. The questions you'll be asked in Section D will vary depending on whether you're a small charity or a medium or large charity. The example in this how-to video is for medium and large charities. That's charities with an annual revenue of more than $250,000. And just a reminder, all the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation. They don't belong to an actual charity. Before we start, the ACNC has prepared a wide range of support materials to help you through this and other sections of the Annual Information Statement. Our 2017 Annual Information Statement Hub at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash 2017 AIS contains links to our comprehensive 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide. The guide provides a detailed walkthrough for charities completing all parts of the Annual Information Statement, including Section D. Two other important reference points can also be accessed from the Hub. Clicking on the purple Complete the Checklist button takes you to our 2017 Annual Information Statement Checklist, a comprehensive rundown of the information you need to know and the documents you should have on hand before you start work on your 2017 Annual Information Statement and following this link within the checklist provides you with a great list of tips designed to cut down on the errors charities have commonly made when filling out previous year's annual information statements. It can be accessed through the checklist or via www.acnc.gov.au forward slash AIS 2017 avoid mistakes. Finally, we have extensive help text within the annual information statement form itself. It can be accessed by clicking on the help boxes scattered throughout the form. OK, now that we've covered the preliminaries, let's get back to the top of Section D and start working through it. For medium and large charities, question 15 is a little more involved than the corresponding question for small charities. It is important that charities ensure they have the information they need on hand to answer these questions. This is where the Annual Information Statement Guide and the checklist can help. First up, if the financial report you are uploading is not for the period 1 July 2016 to 30 June 2017, you need to indicate the date range that your financial report covers here. You'll then be asked what type of financial report your charity prepares. You'll have three options to choose from. Special Purpose Financial Statements, General Purpose Financial Statements, or General Purpose Financial Statements Reduced Disclosure Regime. From there, you'll be asked further details about reporting, consolidated financial reporting, and whether there are any modified conclusions drawn in the audit or review report you will provide with the annual financial statements. You'll also be asked about related party transactions, and whether your charity has a policy governing such transactions. For more on related party transactions, refer to our help sheet at www.acnc.gov.au forward slash related party. And generally speaking, it's a good idea to refer to the links to the help text featured around the 2017 Annual Information Statement form, and particularly throughout Section D. Your next task will be to complete the Comprehensive Income Statement Summary, filling in each line item. As a reminder, what you're seeing here is the form as it would appear for a medium-sized charity. For large charities, some additional line items will appear in this section, but the approach to filling in the information is the same. You should enter amounts for all the items that make up the total using Australian dollars. Round up or down to the nearest dollar and do not include cents. If the value is zero dollars, enter zero. Include zeros to show thousands. Check that the totals you enter match the amounts in your financial statements. For guidance on each of these line items, read the 2017 Annual Information Statement Guide or you can click on the Help button next to each line. And when you've completed question 15b, it might be a good idea to double check your answers and then hit save. Question 16 is where your charity will upload and provide its financial report. For medium and large charities, this is a compulsory requirement. 
it's important to remember that this report must meet the applicable requirements and will generally include financial statements, notes to the financial statements, and a responsible person's declaration or similar. If your charity prepares a financial report to provide to a state or territory regulator because it's an incorporated association, a cooperative or a charitable fundraising organisation, you can also provide a copy of this financial report to the ACNC. We will accept this report as meeting our requirements for the 2017 reporting period. You will need to indicate this at question 16a by selecting the yes box. When you do, the screen will take a moment to refresh and a series of new questions will appear. Charities can select the states and territories where they submitted their report in question 16b. You will then need to indicate what type of organisation your charity is at question 16c. Then you'll be asked to upload your financial report. Choose the file from your computer, then click attach. It might take a minute for your document to upload. And if your charity has been approved to withhold certain information from the ACNC register, you will be given the option to upload a version of your financial report with this information removed. Now, just to double back to question 16a for a second, if you haven't provided a financial report to a state or territory regulator, you'll need to select no. At this point, the online form will refresh and you'll be directed to upload your financial report for the 2017 reporting period, as well as reminded what needs to be included in that report. Tick the confirmation box, upload your report, and the form will refresh. And this brings us to the end of Section D for medium and large charities. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button. To move on to the next section of the Annual Information Statement, click the Next Page button here. For assistance with other parts of the Annual Information Statement, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the Annual Information Statement, you can call us on 13 2262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.